I have the scariest, craziest news. You didn't feel anything? I was laying in my bed, you know, having the best dream ever. And all of a sudden my bed goes. That's how big it was, guys. Because an earthquake happened, people are gonna go to the store more. All kidding aside, there is now a slightly elevated risk of another bigger earthquake, especially during the next 24 hours. Good morning. Good morning. Guys, I have the scariest, craziest news. What? You didn't feel anything? We just had an earthquake. We did? Yeah, you guys didn't feel anything? Come upstairs. Come upstairs right now. I'm gonna show you what happened. It was pretty big. It was a 5.7, I think. That was pretty big. I want to show you what happened. Come on. I already told Rhett, but I don't know because that's when I came downstairs because I was freaking out. I jumped out of my bed and I was like, oh my gosh, are they okay? Because like they made a fort down here and like it just scared me. I know, right? Would have fell on you. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Okay. Anyway, actually, no, that would not have not been funny. Never mind. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys. Guys, there could be an aftershock. We don't know, so that it could happen again. But and it, but it won't be as big. Yeah. But anyways, like things are shaking. And I can hear it. Anyways, come upstairs to my room. Lucy starts barking. I was like, what is going on? I was laying in my bed, you know, having the best dream ever. And all of a sudden my bed goes. That's how big it was, guys. No joke. And that's what I woke up to. I jumped up so fast. And then I think I heard this shake a little bit too. It was so quick though. Like, it was like 10 seconds. Yeah, it, that's but crazy. It happened up, like, way, it's like West Valley area. So then oh, so that's like... Oh my gosh, that's so like some actually, of my friends. Than that would have been like where we used to live. Yeah. That would have been worse where we used to live, yeah, guys. We have a we definitely have worse than both. Yeah, isn't it crazy, guys? We could have an aftershock any minute now, though. Yeah. Usually it happens. But I don't know if it will happen this time. I don't, I don't think we'll feel it if it happens because we have So I think we're good, guys. We oh. should be good, but stay close just in case. So I can tell you guys what to do because I'm like so nervous. So yeah, stay close, okay? Or you guys can go back to bed. You probably won't feel anything down back there. Back to bed. Okay, good night. Hey guys, we're in Harmon. So I changed my clothes into sweats because you know, and I got ready. So basically, my mom is basically saying that because an earthquake happened, people are gonna go to the store more. And guys, I've gone to Harmon's like five times this whole week. The shelves are gone, guys, like literally. It's crazy. Anyways, my mom just basically said, because an earthquake happened, people are going to the go, go to the store more and you guys need to stock up. Like, you need to be prepared. I gotta admit, my mom has a whole list for us. So, Rhett, we need to get bread, but the problem is, last time I came here with Rhett, uh, Reese and Perry, or, yeah, Reese and Perry, the bread was gone. Yep, look, bread, that's all bread. Okay, yeah, that's the wheat one. Okay, grab some white one, too. Okay, that one's all smashed. Grab that. We, I got some honey weed. That looks good. That, that should be good. It's kind of like white and wheat. Oh, for... Grab one more. I don't know. Ooh, sourdough. Eh. I don't like I like sourdough bread. Okay, well, we just, the white's gone, Rhett. All the white's gone. So my mom, this is like basically the list. Take the dog out, get her food, get the bunch of chicken, and sorry my cracked screen and my dirty screen. It's so cracked and dirty, but look guys, this is hard. This is crazy. It's packed here. Literally, out of all the canned soup she told us to get, we only got one out of like five. There's no soup anymore, guys. This is crazy. Right now we're getting Lucy some food. Guys, this is crazy. It's like literally so packed here. It didn't look that packed, but it is. People are freaking out about the earthquake, guys. Maybe we should get some cereal. I feel like we're running out of cereal. Not sugar cereal, but just cereal. Yeah. But all the cereal is gone. So let's just see how much there is. Probably have another earthquake in the next two hours. We don't know. This could be rumor. Can I just have my stuff on my ear? No, don't have your shoes on. Okay, so basically I told Rhett. Okay, my dad texted me and said, 
put mom's car out in the garage. I mean, out of, in the driveway. Because it says that there could be another earthquake and the best thing to do is probably pull out your cars. So we're gonna put my mom's car in the driveway. We're gonna probably, okay, turn off the TV rat. We're gonna play Monopoly right now to calm us down. Here, Perry, here's your little sandwich. We're making some of these, like, they're kind of like the McDonald's Wait, things. How hard is the earthquake gonna be? It could be up to, it's rumor. It, this is a rumor. rumor. We don't know. It says a nine. This one could be really bad. This one, honestly, it could be the one that's been like for the hundred years. Like it's been it uh, passed and things. This could be the one. Okay, I heard. Holy! What? Did you get this long text too? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna read this text and I'll let you guys know what it says. All kidding aside, there is now a slightly elevated risk of another bigger earthquake, especially during the next 24 hours. Um, that the the 5.7 ma uh, magnitude earthquake will turn out in like a hindsight to be a foreshock and not an oh, aftershock. Like a preparation shock. Before the main shock. <laughs> so that that was like that was basically the shock before the big one, basically. So, that's so a foreshock. Um, that's a chance. We don't know. There's no way to actually 100% know. We're I mean we've been overdue for an earthquake for 100 years. So we don't know. It could happen literally never, but it could happen. It could happen in 24 hours. Okay, so listen to this. Things to consider, not necessarily in order of importance. Shoes and a coat. Put on your good shoes and some decent clothes. Now know where your shoes and coat are for the next little while, including tonight. Okay, smart. And then water. You could consider filling your bathtubs not so full that it will slosh out too much. For most people, their water supply isn't movable, but consider. Um, putting it at least some water in a place in your home or outside that could be easily accessible even if your home was were seriously damaged and then car you might want to move your car outside your garage in case a bigger earthquake makes it difficult for you to get out people normally I would say I would say know where all your people are and have a plan but hopefully your main people are all all home with you right now but Ooh. <laughs> My mom and dad are gone, and Reese is at um, ah, a friend's house, a friend's house yeah. doing school. And then short-term food and supplies. Consider putting some food, clothes, important documents, flashlights, etc. somewhere easy to grab. Perhaps in your car trunk, if your car can be parked somewhere safe. So yeah, and then eight, take some deep breaths. We will be okay. The probability of a bigger earthquake is still low, but this should also be a wake-up call for all of us. That's good. Okay, so that's basically the whole thing that my mom sent me. We don't know. The, the earthquake could, could still be pretty low. Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> but it, it, but like like the text said, it's a good wake up call. So do you guys remember how we heard like, well you like, weren't awake, but you can kind of hear a sound when there's an earthquake. It feels like, it sounds, like, it a, sounds boat, like, like a houseboat kind of. Have you guys been in a houseboat? You know mm -hmm. what I'm uh -huh. Yeah, we have. Oh, kind of like the motor on a houseboat. Kind of like, like that. that. So when so. that happens, we as soon as we start hearing anything or feeling anything, I, maybe it's not even an earthquake. Go to your spot and we'll be there. Okay, Rhett, we'll play Monopoly when we get back. I'm gonna go, we need to go to the store to get water bottles. Get water bottles. We'll get like three packs. Yeah, I think that. Four. Oh, God. Well, we have one out there. Cause I don't know if there's any more. I saw so many people, you have no idea. There were so many people that had like five packs in each cart for just them, their families. There may not even be any there. I know, that's why we gotta hurry now because it's like still morning that people aren't up all the way. And there's not so we better go. any more toilet paper. Okay, we're gonna go now guys. I'm gonna leave the camera here. Hopefully the camera's good. <laughs> there's an earthquake that smashes the camera. <laughs> Dude, that'd be scary. Okay, do not go somewhere right there. It's not safe. If you think this is a safe spot, you're messed up. Like, do not go under here because the TV could fall. Everything, yeah. So don't go anywhere near a TV. And you know, things might fall and things might break. This is scary, guys. I feel like we're being a little over dramatic about this, but honestly, it's scary. Cause like, that's my first time ever feeling an earthquake. And I jumped out of bed so fast. I have never jumped out of bed so fast before. So I'm gonna hurry and eat my little breakfast and then I'm gonna go to the store, okay? We're gonna get up like three water bottles. We should be good. So it is... 6.48, the last thing I said was, we're gonna have an earthquake. And we didn't, 
guys, we're all good. We had one more aftershock, which was a 3.8, which was not bad at all. I just remember being at the table, starting my online school, which, ugh, I hate saying that, I don't know why. I don't like it, I just wanna be at school again. But anyways, um, basically it was a 3.8, I was sitting there, just doing my homework, and all of a sudden the table starts shaking, and I was like, there's another one, and I start freaking out just a tiny bit. Like, I don't know. I've been like in shock all day, but today I'm finally like calming down. But it's because I'm tired, like, I went to bed so late last night, which was like 1 o'clock. Slept until 6. I put an alarm for 6 because I wanted to start my homework early, but I never got up. I don't think my alarm went off or anything. And then the earthquake started, and I freaked out. That's the scariest thing ever. <laughs> I literally, I can just imagine it. I was literally just laying in bed. I remember I was turned this way too. So like I was like down like this. And then I remember just like waking up, and I was like, what the heck? Like, oh, it was so creepy. April and Davey posted on their story, their Instagram story, that they had a feeling that they should come home early, which basically means today. They wanted to come home. And then later, an earthquake happens. So yeah, they're going to Alabama tonight because they won't be able to make it. And they're going to fly back in the morning. So I'm not telling the kids, the kids. <laughs> I'm not telling R Rhett, Reese, and Perry. That sounds so weird to say. I can't, I'm not telling Rhett, Reese, or Perry because I want it to be a surprise, but we need to do lots of cleaning. Oh my gosh, guys. You have no idea. It doesn't look that dirty, but holy cow. It really is, like honestly. You could tell just from, yeah. I'm exhausted, guys. I literally cannot open my eyes. I'm just trying to open my eyes so bad right now just to talk, but I can't. Like I'm freaking exhausted. I also gotta start on my, ooh, I forgot. So, you know how I said I was doing schoolwork? Yeah, I never did. I need to start that now because some things are due tonight and I need to do that. So I better go start my online homework because I'm a little late on that. Dude, online's killing me. I'm gonna be such a procrastinator. Holy cow. If anyone can relate, I know you all can relate. So, just tell me. Online school is gonna be hard. I'm gonna be, oh, I'm just gonna procrastinate so bad. Unless you have a video chat. But I don't, so yeah, that sucks. Lucy, are you good? Yeah, I just remember waking up to Lucy's barking also. I, I just, it shocks me every time. Better go start my homework and we'll be back cleaning. <laughs> Bye.